Today, it is the end of the day, but it is not the end of the day beer review. We are doing a Milk Stout Nitro, America Stout. Something local. Since we're in the middle of a move and I am bone tired. As my friend Rich would say, three, two, one. Damn it, I did it again. So, like I said in the intro, this is not end of day beer review, but it is end of day, and it is a beer review. And I'm not stealing your your thing there, Rich. Wife and I have had uh, three long days of moving about 20,000 pounds worth of household goods and construction material half a mile at a time by hand. So I'm at the end of my day and I have a beer that I've had, but I've never reviewed and we're gonna go ahead and do it. So this is uh, Milk, Strick, Milk Stout Nitro. And well, you can tell we're in the country. Somebody's out there shooting with a 308. Um, it's America Stout Left Hand Brewing Company. From our hands to yours. There's a bunch of small writing that I'm not going to get into. It says that it is a different beer for different pour. 6%. Um, smooth. Super smooth with soft roasted and mocha notes. Um... Nitro Brewing Company. Um, actually, it says, it says to pour it upside down. <laughs> I don't have, actually have a mug here, so I'm going to go ahead and, and just drink it. So this is a local brewery. I think it's what, Johnson City? Um, correct me if I'm wrong. But so since we're camping, we do this right next out. So cool little art there. Almost no earth there. Flip your bottle. Keep cold. Pour hard. That's some pretty good advice. It's got a little bit of a chocolate nose to it. It's very creamy. Um, not too suzzy. So normally in a glass... It doesn't really catch catch the edges, but this is out of the bottle, so I don't know about the rest of you, but I generally don't have the correct glass for drinking beer. So I get that fruity first. A little bit of back taste of a mocha. But a really smooth finish. Mmm, that is good. I think uh, my preference, even though they say to drink it cold, would be at room temperature, but that's just me and stouts. So. Not too bubbly. Doesn't really have a lot of... Uh, carbonation or nitration in it because it is a nitro much smaller bubbles and it's almost got like a caramel aftertaste too that's really good I like that like I said I've had this before but I've never actually like analyzed the taste the funny thing is is like a, uh, my wife went down to the store to pick up something I said pick me up a six pack of something local um some stout and so she found this and i was like it's a good choice cheers mm. caramel then the chocolate heads very little coffee notes though that's that's the surprising thing on stouts because usually they have pretty heavy coffee toe to them or uh if it's a, a bourbon aged barrel, it definitely has heavy overtones. But this is actually nice and smooth. 
This is going to be a good springtime beer when you're uh, sweating at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and you're freezing by 4. This will be a good 2, two o'clock in the afternoon. So anyway, I'm going to finish up my beer. Thanks for joining us. Get off my lawn. Enjoy your beer. Enjoy your day.